Greetings, beloved. Welcome to the Book of Remembrance. I hope this message brings you much joy as it brought to me. It is about the rapture, a beautiful and wonderful day that is promised to the Bride of Jesus. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on November the 6th, 2015. The title of the message is The Rapture, an expose from the Lord Jesus. And the Lord Jesus began, Rapture Day will be a glorious day, my love, for those who will be ready for me. It will be a day of victory for them, a day they have longed for. I will not disappoint them. All creation will hear the trumpet. Even those who are asleep will hear the trumpet and wake up, both dead and living. The dead in me shall rise up first. They will put on immortality, immortal bodies, as they race through the sky to meet me in the air. Every eye on earth will see me. I will not be hidden from anyone. It will be a day when I will testify to the faithfulness of my bride. Every eye, every creature on earth and in the sea will see me on that day as I descend onto the clouds of heaven and get ready to receive my prize, my bride. After all the counted dead in me have risen to claim their mortal bodies, then those who are alive, my faithful bride, who has longed for me, whose I am, will be changed in the twinkling of an eye. They will put on immortality and will be raised up by my Holy Spirit and they will come to meet me in the air. My spirit will draw their spirit to me. None and nothing will hold them back from me and none whose name is not written in the rapture book will ascend. Though you cling to them, they will be lost to you. They will slip out of your grasp for the earth will give them up to me. Gravity will not hold them back anymore. All of nature will let them go, for I have called them to myself. I have commanded them to come to me. The sea will vomit the dead in it, even as the graves will. Graves and mausoleums of the faithful will burst open, for they will not be able to contain their physical bodies anymore. All the faithful who are lost at sea, or who died, or who are murdered in secret and placed in places that no one else knows about, they too will erupt from the earth and from the waters, and they will come to meet me in the air. Even though their spirits have been with me in heaven, on rapture day, they will have a glorified body like my own, a physical body that can be touched, made immortal, an incorruptible body that does not belong on earth, but is one that resides in heaven up to that point in history. These same ones in their incorruptible bodies will come back with me in my third return to the earth, to rule and reign in my millennial kingdom. Yes, the rapture will be a day of separation of the faithful from the unfaithful. My brides will arise to their glorious rest. They are my Elijahs, who will never know physical death in their bodies. Like Elijah, I will whisk them to heaven, to the banquet I have prepared for them. Everything is ready. All heaven is waiting for you, my brides. Who will listen to my voice and be ready for my return? Make no mistake. I am here. I am coming now. If you are my bride, you will be ready for me. You are ready for me now. I am coming for you. I will make sure you escape the coming tribulation period. I will not let you live through it. It is not a sign for my brides to live through the tribulation period. That assignment is for my cubs, my strengtheners, and the unsaved who are still alive on earth. Yes, you will see your loved ones rise up into the sky. You will try to hold them down. But spirit calls to spirit, and in the spirit world they will respond and obey and will rise up to meet me in the air. You will watch as their earthly garments are changed into robes of righteousness, white and sparkling, and as they rise up higher and higher, they will be like diamonds in the sky, my jewels decorating the sky with my glorious light. The further they rise from you, the brighter they become as they turn into points of light. Their bodies will exude my glorious light, for I am light, and they are my servants of light, my bride, adorned in her white wedding garments. It will be a glorious sight. The unfaithful will see me in the clouds, and they will see the bride rise up to meet me, but they will be left behind to go through the tribulation period. For one moment, all creation will have a glimpse of my glory, and then all of a sudden, after all my brides have come up to me, Darkness will descend and overtake the earth. After such glory, darkness. After the departure of light, darkness. 
as the devil and his hordes descend from the heavenly places of their habitation, and the demons are sent from the pits of hell, ready to rule and reign for seven years. I tell you, my people, there has never been, and never again will be, such a time of darkness, evil, and pain as during the tribulation period. The world has chosen its master, and I will release him to you, for as yet I withheld him and the majority of his hordes from the earth. But as soon as my bride leaves, he and his hordes will be released on the earth. You have rejected me in your hearts, in your homes, in your schools, in your governments, and in your churches. Therefore, I will grant you your heart's desire and let you experience the rulership of your chosen master, Satan. He will come to you furiously, ready to devour all that will stand in his way. Only my cubs and my strengtheners will escape his agenda. For if they remain faithful to me to the end, though they die horrible deaths, yet because they cling to me, they will escape hell and enter into my rest in heaven. This is a day that I want you to meditate solemnly on what I have said. It is a day that you must make a choice while the rapture has not occurred. For you will see it. There is no such thing as a secret rapture. That is the doctrine of devils. Oh no. I will make sure every eye in the heavenly places, speaking of the devil's angels, on earth, speaking of everything still alive at that time, in the sea, all the creatures of the sea, and even in hell, every eye will see my return. It will not be a secret. Israel, my very own people who rejected me when I came to earth the first time, will see me and weep, for many of them will miss the rapture. Israel will awaken suddenly, and realize that I had come to them years ago, and I am back again, and for the second time, they have missed my coming. They will turn, and will be prepared when I return to the earth the third time, when I return to conquer with my heavenly host. I came as a baby years ago. I will return as a bridegroom in the rapture, and seven years after the rapture, I will return as the reigning king that Israel has desired to see for so long. I am calling all humanity today, as you read or hear this message, make a choice. Either be my bride, be prepared for me to come and draw you to myself in the rapture, or be prepared to be left behind. I will come only for those who have accepted me as Lord and Savior of their lives, and who have kept themselves away from evil, repented of their sins, have put their hand to the plow, and remained faithful to me only, in their deeds and in their hearts. They have kept their candles burning, have walked this work faithfully, have kept the faith and hoped for my return. I will not disappoint my bride. Make a choice. Either be like such, my bride, or be counted among the unfaithful, of which there will be two kinds. My rebellious children who have walked in disobedience, loving themselves and the world more than me, them I call cubs, or be among the unsaved, those who have not accepted me as Lord and Savior. Which would you rather be? A bride who will rise to meet her faithful bridegroom, or a cub, or an unsaved one, who will be left behind to face the tribulation period. Choose this day which company you will keep. This is not a joke. It represents a choice that will affect your eternal destiny. I love you all. My brides, my cubs, among whom are my strengtheners, and they who are unsaved. I love all of you. Choose wisely. I am coming. Even now I have on my bridegroom garments. I am coming for my bride, Sila. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed. Amen.